Hello, this is Lolly. I have a special paper clip today. I want to show you this really big paper clip I made. And this is for the December theme, which is wild animal. And I got to thinking about a koala and how I would like him to actually just hug that page. And you can see how he is a big, chunky guy. So this is kind of the biggest paper clip I've probably made. And I just want to show you how to do this. Now I used an image from Silhouette Design Store. You can use a different image and I'll show you what you're going to need. So you're going to need two left facing, two right facing images. They should be pretty much identical. And of course, a two inch paper clip. Let's go ahead and get the faces on these really cute guys here. And also I think I'm going to distress the edges just for a little bit of interest on the front here. I only need to do this on one of the left and one of the right. Okay, and let's put the faces on those. Okay, now let's get his little nose in there. I'm gonna put him at a little bit of an angle like his head is kind of tilted here. Okay, now let's put that down there. And do the same to this one. Cute, cute, cute. Now, on the inside, we're going to put these together. And I know that the page is going to come in. Let's just get a piece of paper and show you. <clears throat> He's going to come all the way in this way, like that. So this part is going to be sticking out. So I can go ahead and glue that ear together because I know that the, the page isn't actually going to go right there all the way up to that ear. Let's get that lined up. Now I'm going to put the paper clip right here, but because I want this to be a real, real hidden paper clip, I don't even want the clip showing there. So I'm just gonna trim a little sliver off of his bum, just so that his Kind of helps to hide the paper clip just a pinch and see if that's enough there. Everything else is not getting glued on his inside, but I do like, you know me, I like adding a little bit of power tack under that paper clip because we're dealing with metal and I don't want it sliding. There we go. Now all we have to do is glue these two together, except that I do have, um, I don't buy makeup from the Dollar Tree except for using in crafts. Now this is their blush and it's a little bit of, a little piece of a sponge here. Just giving them a little bit of cheek right there. Okay, now we're gonna glue him. Now we're gonna cover the entire thing. So I'm not gonna put glue over where the power tack is, just everywhere else. I'm not lining it up on his bum because remember I trimmed some of that bum off. Turn that over. You can see now there where I trimmed it. And I can actually tr put a little glue there if I want. Glue both sides. This is actually a pretty quick project. And you don't have to use die cuts. You can use, you can use images, you know, like PNGs. Now I am clipping around the paper clip. So what you're going to find is that you're going to see this paper clip. It, you know, it's kind of no way around it because it's going to show through the cardstock. So what I did for this one, I just went in, typed out a uh, quality book. And it's pretty cute. But to me, I don't know. The jury's still out. At a, at a quick glance, it looks like he's wearing a diaper. I don't know. So 
it's up to you whether you put a word there. I thought it kind of helped to offset the fact that I had that clip really showing so much right there. Uh, you could also add maybe some of bamboo shoots or something to kind of like he's hiding behind the bamboo shoots. Make sure you look down below. I'm going to give you several links. One is to our Facebook group where we have our monthly challenge. And you will see that this month's challenge is for wild animal. I think this is so, so, so cute. I think you're going to love playing with uh, designs like this. Just four images and you can make your little animal hug your page as well. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. And thank you for sticking around.